Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I pack for It's 7.41 at night. I leave my house at 4 a.m. in the morning. And I haven't packed yet, but it's because this is the only chance I had to pack while Andre was gone. You guys don't know this yet, but in an upcoming video, I think it's the next one, I'm gonna be surprising Andre in a trip. Now to think about it, I said the name of the place I'm going, but I'm gonna bleep it out because I want you guys to like guess it too. I feel like that would be fun. So I'm gonna be taking you guys along with me as I get ready and pack. I have two people to pack for, myself and Andre. All Andre knows, and once again, this will all be in the video that comes after, but all Andre knows is that we are going on a plane and that he needs to pack his own toiletry bag because I don't know what he needs. So without further ado, let's get this video started. So I have all what I need to pack um, on the couch for the most part. Because we're only going for four days, I didn't have to pack a lot for us. And I love this suitcase because it's divided. So I think I'm gonna put Andre's stuff on one side and my stuff on, on the other. I think in the end, I'm gonna have to take over some of his room. But I'm not gonna tell you the location of where we're going, but I have to tell you what we're doing. We're going skiing. So that's the first thing I'm packing. So the first thing I'm putting into this suitcase is our ski gear. So obviously this was hard because um, they make so much noise. So I feel like I have to talk before I pack them. But this was hard because I'm surprising Andre skiing and he doesn't own any ski gear and neither do I. It was hard because I didn't know if I had to ruin the surprise and tell him because I needed his like body to fit his ski clothes. But I ended up just like going to the ski store in Orlando telling them my husband's size, how big he is and all of that, gave him measurements and we ended up picking out clothes that should fit him. So I got him jumpers for his pants because we've talked about it in the past and he has said that if he ever did go skiing that he would want a pair of jumpers instead of pants. I don't know how to freaking pack this. So, then the next thing that I got him was this jacket and I feel like he's gonna love this jacket. It's so rad, it's so like, uh, I don't know. I saw this and I said, this my husband would love this. He loves like skater-ish vibes on anything. I can't believe this day has come. I feel like I've been waiting forever. I feel like I should pack his side first and then mine or else I'm gonna get so confused. And there's hair on me. I also packed him this underlayer for underneath his um, his jacket. I've been skiing before, so for the most part, I knew what he needed. I wasn't scared about like anything. I got these ski socks off of Amazon. They were really cheap. It was like two for $12. So I just got him two pairs of ski socks. The next thing were thermals. So I'm gonna pack him his thermals. I got him these pair of gloves. They're like mittens, they're actually really freaking cute. He's so spoiled because I didn't even get um, my own pair of gloves. I'm borrowing gloves. So spoiled. But they were really cheap and the ones I wanted for like myself were like really expensive. So I said, not this round. So I'm packing him his ski gloves. I also got him a pair of goggles. I'm getting confused on whose stuff is whose because I remember with his goggles, I got him the over, they're over the glasses type of goggles. Besides like the ski, like the ski gear, I got from Amazon. It was so inexpensive. Next thing I got him was the same thing I have, so I'm not gonna take it out, but it's a face mask. And that's it for his ski equipment. Everything literally just folded and just like put in here because I, they're too puffy to organize. Okay, and then for clothes, I don't think we need a lot of clothes because we're gonna be skiing every single day and we're not gonna be really, I doubt we're gonna be leaving the house, maybe to go to dinner, maybe to eat in at the house. I have no idea. So I think he only needs one outfit. I don't think he needs, he can rewear, he's fine. So I grabbed him one pair of PJs, a nice sweater, with a pair of jeans. And then for jackets, I just have this leather jacket for him. I know it's gonna be freezing, but we're in Florida. We don't really believe, like we don't really own anything thicker, so it's hard. 
So I have a nice pair of outfit for him. Honestly, he's a simple one. Like, he doesn't need much. But I'm gonna have him hold this on the plane, so I'm not gonna pack it. Am I done with his side already? Oh, shoot, okay. That was easy. This is his final side with the, I gotta fix that once I put my stuff in. But let's get on to my side. I'm getting worried because I have this toiletry bag to fit in here and his side is full. My side for sure is gonna be full. So I don't know where I'm gonna put it and I can't take a carry-on. Frontier is so annoying and I can't, and I can't take a carry-on. First thing for me, I don't know, okay. First thing for me, when I bought my ski outfit, I wanted red. I've been wanting red. I love red ski outfits. So I went with these. I got them on Amazon, but they're Columbia, and I remember them being so freaking cheap for a ski outfit. So I'm obsessed with those. And then I got this at a ski store once again. So cheap for a ski outfit. I was, gonna, I was looking into renting, honestly I was, because it is his first time and um we don't really live in up north never eat sour worms yeah <laughs> because we don't live up north i was like do we really need to invest in ski clothes but it ended up being that all of this gear that we need is the same price as me renting and so i said why not just own the actual thing so we don't have to go through this anytime we want to go skiing so that's that problem. And then I also got myself a mid layer from Costco. It's from the brand Sp Spider. I had Lena send me this over because she lives in Washington. So we don't get stuff like this, but she saw it at Costco for so cheap. And I told her, you better send it to me. I got these cute pair of thermals from Amazon. The red thermals. And I'm obsessed with them. Can you tell the theme? read everything. I really don't want to fold anything, so do not judge the way I'm folding. And then I'm so mad because the one thing I forgot to get are ski socks. I have my old ski socks, but you can tell they've been used and put through work, but I don't have time to Amazon Prime anything. I leave in like five hours, so these ski socks will do, but if we're at the, if we're at the, if we're at the resort and they have better socks and my feet are freezing, for sure, I'm gonna get a new pair. And then I have these gloves. These are gloves that I'm borrowing and they're actually the brand that I wanted to buy, but my friend said I could just borrow hers. So that's a, that's a plus because I didn't have to spend money on that. And then the ski goggles. I feel like I should be bringing two just in case someone's break, someone's break because we're going with his family, um, or I don't know, should I bring both? Leave a comment down below. Probably be, be on the slopes by the time, but hmm, I don't need both. I don't, right? Hopefully not. And I wanted to bring this because my sis always kills me, so just in case I land on my hand wrong, I have my thing. Oh my god, I almost forgot these. My pants are big on my waist, so I got red suspenders to keep my pants up. It's like the smallest things you have to think about. And that's what, that's what like was, um, that's what, that was, that's what was getting me so nervous because I don't need, I don't know the small things that he needs, but I try to think of the small things he needs. Like, but it's just so hard. And I've been planning this vacation for like two months now. So I've been able to like write in my notepad every time I needed something. Anyways. I brought two pairs of pajamas for myself because I hate sleeping in pants and I know I get hot so I bought basketball shorts and a t-shirt for bed and then I brought a fuzzy fleecy long sleeve long pant outfit because I know it's going to be freezing and I'm going to be complaining about how cold I am. So I brought that. Another thing I'm bringing is this big sweater. I don't have cold clothes, I don't. So I just honestly grabbed the thickest stuff that I could find in my closet and said, that's it, that's the one. Because I doubt we're, like I said, I doubt we're going anywhere crazy. So I didn't feel the need to like try on my outfit so much. And then just a pair of leggings for that. 
I want to bring this because I've never worn this in Florida and I just want to get an Instagram picture in it. Is that bad? I know it's bad, but I need to get a picture in it. I've never worn it, so we'll figure out a way. How do I fold this to where it's small? I'm honestly the worst folder when it comes to luggage. I need a vacuum seal thing. You guys know what I'm talking about? Those like ones. This does not look right. Oh God. And then I brought a black long sleeve shirt just to wear underneath it. I'm throwing everything. Black skinny jeans. I'm gonna only be bringing one pair of shoes and they're gonna be rain boots because I don't own snow boots. And we're gonna hope that it do it lasts and it does and it, and, it, and it secures my feet. And then this is a big fluffy jacket. This is my mom's because I don't own anything like this and I'm gonna be carrying this on the flight. So I'm gonna put it where Andre's is. And then I wanted to bring this, but I don't want Andre to be like, it's not fair, you have so many outfits. But then I wanted to say, it's for Instagram, leave me alone. I know that's bad, but listen. For Instagram, leave me alone. I'm getting nervous. The thing is, is, it's not that heavy, so why am I getting nervous? I'm getting nervous because I can't fit anything else. So how am I supposed to, okay. We're just gonna deal. So the next thing I have is toiletry bag. I didn't really pack that much makeup, so what I did was I have this thing, I talked about it before in one of my videos, where I use makeup and I pack my makeup, but I decided to put all of my stuff, so my toiletry, my, I'm out of breath, I'm so sorry you guys, my toiletry, my makeup, my everything, and here I think I just have band-aids, band-aids, my hairbrush, and cotton swabs. I bought these small little loofahs because I'm not taking hours and then we have to throw them away and I don't want to deal with that. So these are disposable. We can use them once and get rid of them. They were 99 cents. Some feminine products. I got his deodorant, my deodorant. I got this pack from Walmart. It came with like um, empty containers and I just filled them. I put shampoo, two things of body wash, and then one thing of conditioner. I don't think we're gonna be need more because I don't shampoo every day and he doesn't use conditioner. I packed my probiotics, my face wash, my um my lip therapy Vaseline because it's gonna be freezing and my hand, my freaking lips will be chapped. Makeup remover, my beauty blender, contact solution contact solution and here's the makeup that I'll be wearing we're gonna be skiing like I said every single day so I doubt I'm gonna be wearing makeup like a full face of makeup so what I did br bring was like um CC cream waterproof mascara because every time I'm skiing my eyes water blush highlight face powder stuff that's like throw on easy two seconds like I can wear in the cold and I think they'll last. So essentially my waterproof way of wearing makeup. And then here, I brought three brushes. I narrowed it down. I can do the rest with the beauty sponge. Toothpaste, moisturizer. I had to buy a new one. Andre used my, if you watch my Valentine's Day video, he used all of mine. Traveling toothbrushes, my glasses, my retinol, and my razor, just in case my mustache comes in on my vacation. Um, so, and then in this bag, I have my birth control, my medication. Um, you can't see it, but I have some vitamins in there, some Tums, because my, oh my God, I'm out of breath, and I'm so sorry for being in your guys' ear breathing. I brought some vitamins, and I brought some Tums, because I'm going to be eating hot Cheetos on this trip, and hot Cheetos always kills my stomach. Some fiber gummies, because I do not use the bathroom at all, so let alone on a flight. Elevation kills my stomach. What time is it? Hey Siri, what time is it? It's 9.17 p.m. I had to be in bed at, I gotta hurry this up. Okay, so I'm gonna have to, like I said, put this on Andre's side because, oh, where are his glasses? Oh my God. I knew I should tuck the glasses in somewhere. Never had to share a suitcase with anyone, so this is hard on me. But I literally just put this on top of all his clothes. I should have put this at the base. Oh, should I take all this stuff out? No, this will squish it down, right? It'll squish. Oh, God. 
Oh wait, he has a zipper side. So he, I can't zip this with that big thing. So this thing has to be on my side. Okay, we're gonna figure this out. Let's, let's figure this out together. I wish I had a carry-on because then I would just stick this in the carry-on. But I don't. So you know what I have to do? Put my stuff on his side. Oh, this fur thing is gonna get caught in the zipper. I should have tucked this. I am not strategic. Do not take packing advice from me. Just simply watch for entertainment. And to entertain me. Just entertain me, guys. you guys. There we go, I tucked it under. I have everything in the suitcase, I think. I'm gonna work on my back, my personal item bag. And we're gonna hope. That I can fit everything in there and it not and they not charge me for a carry-on. I hope I can close the suitcase even. I feel like you guys are gonna make fun of this so much. Oh my god. <laughs> this is what it ended up being. Tell me this isn't so just not the vibe and aesthetic, but like I said, I'm not paying for a carry-on. So this is what we're gonna have to deal with. If it's under 50 pounds. That to me means stuff everything you can as much as possible in one bag. Who cares what it looks like? Just do it. And so that's what I'm doing. <sighs> Let me go pack my personal item bag and I will get back to you guys. I'm gonna show you guys everything I'm gonna take in my personal bag. Honestly, it's gonna be a lot of miscellaneous stuff, but it's all stuff that I need. So the medicine bag that I showed you earlier, this is what I'm putting in there. Along with, I forgot to put this in, it's my morning drink. It's the drink that helps me go on a daily basis. I, you know, I'm grateful, but I, I didn't realize how high maintenance I am when it comes to like my vitamins and all this stuff, like it's crazy. And then, obviously, a plain snack is a bag of hot Cheetos. So I'm gonna pack a, plain, a bag of hot Cheetos. My camera gear, which once this vlog is done, goes straight into my bag. My, my, I'll be putting my Apple Watch charger and my, my Apple Watch charger and my iPhone charger also in this bag. Headphones. I need headphones. I got some wipes, because I like to wipe down the plain See, I'm not trying to get freaking coronavirus. <laughs> so, some wipes, some hand sanitizer because they sanitize my hands. And then these are my house slippers. I forgot to put them in my suitcase. I want these because I refuse to shower in anyone else's shower without wearing slippers or even walk around their house without, we're rent, so we're renting an Airbnb and I refuse. <coughs> My feet will be anti-fungus. Pack of gum. Motion sickness medication because I throw up every second. And then Advil for my head aches. For my headaches. Is that all I need? Oh, I need my wallet. And do I need my pepper spray? No, I'll be with Andre, I don't need it. Such a miscellaneous bag because I also have to bring super glue because Andre's, listen to how freaking thoughtful of a person I am, you guys. I know I'm talking to you like this. Listen to how thoughtful of a person I am. I know Andre's glasses are on the verge of breaking. We had to super glue them once. So I'm bringing super glue because I don't want them to break when we're on vacation. Just the same reason why I packed an extra pair of contacts. You check up on that. Ah, this is my personal bag. Wow, that was easy. Okay. I think that concludes this video. Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna close up this suitcase yet until it is finalized and I don't think of anything. I normally like to keep it open until the very last second before I leave. But that concludes this pack with me video. I know I was all over the place, but that's how I am when I'm packing. It helps me like Get my thoughts together and think of every single thing that I need. I hate when I get somewhere and I freaking forget what I need. So, yeah. I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Just love me. I just want to be loved. And until next time, bye guys.